Lieutenant Johnny Morris. The scoreboard tells the story, and this field goal by Bill Capete leaves the margin at 10. Bears take over from their own 20-yard line. McMahon, Stewie and Peyton the running back. Walter mm -hmm. Peyton. Looks like he had some room around the end, turned it upfield, and ran into Leroy Selman and Scott Brentley. And Hugh Green meeting him straight up. Pickup of five yards for Walter Payton. Bucks defense has really got to do it. They stopped him the last two series. They've got to do it again. Payton crossed that 10,000 yard mark last week, and he said he did it for one person, his two-year-old son, Jared, who had his birthday last Sunday, and that was the day Peyton went over 10,000 yards and said that was the most important thing, the most important reason for him. He's up to 90 yards here today. Four times he's rushed for more than 100 against Tampa Bay. The Bears won all four of those games. McMahon is going to be sacked. Neil Posey coming in from way outside. McMahon started to sift in that direction, and Colsey said, welcome. Dropped them at the 10-yard line. They needed a big defensive play, and they got it. A loss of 14 on the play. Okay, Colsey comes from the outside. The Bucks were lucky they didn't get a piling on penalty, too, on this play. Here's Colsey. Didn't let uh, McMahon get outside him that time. And here comes Logan right there. And uh, they were lucky they didn't get an extra call. It is third down. The fourth sack of McMahon today by the Bucks. He came into the game with 21 sacks on the season. Six in the conference. Hannon in defensively to provide some rush. A rookie from William and Mary, number four pick. And run. And instead, they give an inside handoff to Peyton. Flag is down. Peyton still going. Peyton gets close to the first down yardage, all the way out to the 29 yard line. Two flags are down. Let's see what the call is. Walter Peyton with a great individual effort. But the call is against Chicago. Okay, now Tampa Bay, in order to put Chicago way back, will probably take the penalty. However, it, it's a little ironic. Uh, it would be fourth down. The Bears would be forced to punt from the 28-yard line. But I would imagine they would take it to put the Bears to have them force them to punt from right back in their own end zone, assuming they have the confidence that they don't think the Bears can gain 25 yards on them on, a, on an extra down. So that's the decision that Leroy Selman is thinking about right now. Which way would you go, Tim? Make him punt it. You let him have the ball up to 28 and make him punt, huh? Yeah, and they need all the time they can get. 10.49 to go on the clock. They still need two scores. Well, the thing is, if you get him back here, if they can stop him this one down, they could have Parsons punting from way in his end zone. You never know what might happen. Holding offense number 65, third down. Noah Jackson. Well, there's confidence in the... How can you hold defense? with mittens on like that? <laughs> <laughs> Big Noah, number 65. Well, the Bucks have been playing solid defensively throughout this second half, giving up only the 40-yard field goal to Thomas. Just a three-man rush. And quick it's a kick. quick kick by McMahon. Good play by the Bears. All the way down into the 34-yard line. It rolls back up to the 35 where it is down. And so the Bears quick kicking it with McMahon, who uh, has been a punter in his time, showing that he's still got yeah. some ability. And maybe he got that from the playbook of Mike McCormick in Seattle. That's right. But of course, that Mike called it, he <laughs> called it a high school play. Remember that? Well, Mike Dicka picked up on it, came up with a high school play that worked out very well. 59-yarder. 